Hello there again, guys. In this video, we will be uh, looking for the actual roots of a polynomial. So this video is a continuation of my previous video on the rational root theorem. So in the previous video, we already know how to determine the possible rational roots. Sa video naman na ito, hahanapin natin yung actual roots from those possible roots. Okay. So we have here the example in the previous video. Uh, p of x is equal to x cubed plus 2x squared minus 5x minus 6. And using the rational root theorem, the determine natin yung mga possible roots niya. So after determining the possible roots, we are going to look for the actual roots. Since the degree, I mean the highest exponent of this uh, polynomial is 3, then there are 3 roots. So we have here 8 possible roots, tatlo lang sa kanila ang actual roots. So to do that, there are actually two methods. You can use the remainder theorem if substitution works for you, kung mas mabilis ka sa substitution. Or you can also make use of the synthetic division. Okay, so kung gagamitin mo yung remainder theorem, ang gagawin mo lang naman is that you are going to pick one number from this, isubstitute mo sa polynomial, at kung ang result ay zero, then keep that number because that is an actual root. Okay? So after mong nakuha yung isa, kuha ka ulit ng isang number, isubstitute mo sa polynomial, at itest mo, tingnan mo kung ang result ay zero. So kung kumuha ka ng number at nag-substitute ka at hindi zero yung result, then that number is useless, okay? Ang kailangan lang natin na numbers dito ay yung mga numbers na kapag ka substitute eh, magiging zero yung polynomial. Okay? Okay. So, sa synthetic division naman, um, same din lang actually, kuha ka ng isa, gawin mo siyang synthetic divisor, and then you perform synthetic division at kapag ka ang remainder ay zero, then yung number na ginamit mo as synthetic divisor ay root ng polynomial na yan. Kung hindi zero naman ang remainder, then that number is useless. We don't actually need that number. Okay, so for me, um, synthetic division works for me. So depend depende naman sa atin kung saan tayo mas comfortable. Okay, so I will be using the synthetic division. So pili lang ako ng isang number from these choices. So we have eight choices. I'll choose one and I will be choosing negative one. I'll use that as my synthetic divisor. Okay, now I will perform synthetic division. This will become negative 6. Negative 6 times negative 1 is positive 6. And boom! Okay, so ang remainder actually niya dito is 0. So since 0 ang remainder niya, I'll be keeping this number. Kasi kabilang siya sa actual roots. So, negative 1. Okay, so, sinwerte lang ako sa unang choice ko ng number. Pero, yeah. Uh, patience lang kailangan dito. You do trial and error. Ano sam talagang ag trial and error niya. Kuha ka ng number. Kung 0, edi swerte ka. Kung hindi, kuha ka ulit ng another number. Okay, so, negative 1 is a root. Some people might get another number and perform synthetic division again. Pero medyo um, time-consuming kasi yun. Kasi 8 choices tayo eh. Paano kung nasa exam tayo and we are rushing? Okay, so since nakuha ko na yung isa, okay, so may dalawa pa, actually I can make use of the quotient. Okay, I will rewrite this as a polynomial. Okay. And I, I will equate it to 0. Okay, nakuha ba yun? Kinuha ko yung quotient, inequate ko siya sa si 0. Since quadratic siya, we can actually get the roots by factoring. Okay, so I can actually factor this quadratic expression, no? And so after factoring, I will equate both factors to zero. And another one. So after getting negative one, after using the quotient, after uh, factoring the quadratic, nakuha ko na yung dalawang roots. So that is negative three and Two. So the three actual roots of this polynomial are negative 1, negative 3, and 2. Take note that we can write these roots as the factors of polynomial. Maybe some other problems might be requiring you to, to factor polynomials at 
nakalimutan mo kung paano mag-factor ng ganitong polynomial. So, pwede mong gamitin yung idea na to in factoring a polynomial. So, this is the actual roots. We can rewrite this as factors. So, ito ay magiging x plus 1. This one will be become x plus 3. Okay, baka nagtataka kung paano, paano ko kinukuha ang mga to. So, this is actually ganito, di ba? Negative 3. At kung dadalhin mo doon, magiging x plus 3. Okay. And then, x minus 2. So, these are the factors of this polynomial. So, ganun po ang pagkuha ng actual roots ng polynomial. Strategy lang para mas mapadali ang pagkuha mo or paghanap mo ng actual roots. Okay, so kung medyo hindi ka pabihasa sa pag-factor ng quadratics, you can just do trial and error, no? Kuha ka ng mga numbers, kuha ka ng numbers from your choices and perform synthetic division hanggang sa makakuha ka ng remainder na zero. So that's it guys for today. Thank you again for watching. See you in the next video. Bye!